This afternoon, the University of Washington's president and the Board of Regents met face to face with the protesters behind a pro-Palestinian encampment on campus. The meeting prompted an increased police presence on campus, but made little progress in the standoff that's close to two weeks old. Camo senior reporter Chris Daniels attended that meeting and joins us. Chris, it sounds like they're no closer to a resolution. Yeah, Mary and Eric, the regents nor the president made any comment about the recent skirmishes in the quad as that encampment continues to grow by the day as we inch closer to the biggest day on UW's calendar. Inside Dempsey Hall, protesters were literally face to face with UW President Anamari Kase and the Board of Regents. I've lost 112 members of my family on my grandmother's side. UW Junior Hanadi Shakur among them. And we will not leave until our demands are met. She was one of the first residents to set up a tent in what has been called the Liberation Zone, in the middle of the quad, where there have been a couple of skirmishes, demands for credentials. Did yes. you check in with our media tent? and an end to the UW's ties to Israel and Boeing. That tone over the last few days was the reason behind the increased police and security in the meeting, which included a resolution from the student union. What do you define as morally reprehensible? But after a break, the protesters left and the board returned to announce what appeared to be carefully crafted statements. I'm engaged with many stakeholders in the hopes of identifying a peaceful path forward and I appreciate the board's confidence and support. I thought that was useful and I appreciate, um, I appreciate them coming today and appreciate the respectful listening that the regents were doing about that. So uh, back to the meeting at hand. Do you believe there's an, an end to all of this? Yes, whether or not it's soon, I have no idea, but I do believe that there is an end when we're trying to work on it being before summer. Before summer, before commencement? Yes. That day is now less than a month away. Evergreen State University in Olympia brokered a deal with an encampment there that was full of pro-Palestinian protesters by agreeing to language calling for a ceasefire and creating a task force to study divestment. That encampment then went away. It's unclear if that's on the table at the University of Washington. That's the story for now. Live in Seattle, I'm Chris Daniels, Como News. Chris